In the Peace Corps, I built a house for myself in a part of the world where you could do that. The weather was good. I didn't have to deal with complicated environments. That really made it realistic and passionate for me that places where you dwell, being able to manipulate how I think about dwelling as compared to someone else was really exciting. Dwelling is one of the most fundamental human needs. We all work, play, and pursue our passions, but at the beginning of each day, we leave our home, and at the end of each day, we return to our home. We all think of them as places in which we store ourselves and recharge ourselves, and yet there's also this rich customization that can take place that makes that dwelling unique. In New England, people will buy a house in a neighborhood that they love the architectural fabric, and it says something to them. It talks to them about strength of neighborhood and home and nostalgia of a time that was thought of fondly. But they, of course, want to bring it forward to the future and make sure that's inspiring and functional for today. And that's that concept of stewardship. Because it's a piece of art that represents a previous generation's understanding of time and place, you don't want to tear it down. You want to find a way to ad adapt it. We basically preserved the structure, but we stripped its outdated technology from the outside and the inside. We put in brand new windows, as well as reskinning the exterior of the house using contemporary materials. And we did the same thing on all the systems inside the house and the finishes on the house. When you stand and look at it, you see the way in which it's advanced forward, that it doesn't look old and outdated. It looks connected to the neighborhood in its traditional forms, but it's forward-looking. And so that is the best of both worlds. You've preserved the history, but you've reinterpreted it without losing the thread back to its origins. Like artists, we are expected to look at the world around us, use our own creativity and our inner muse and say, this is how I think the world should be shaped. But we also have to understand what the craftsman does, which is they then take that idea that has to perform functionally in a certain way and pragmatic way in, in which to be predictable and durable. What I think makes a good architect is someone who can sort of stretch in both directions and swing back and forth, always trying to integrate the, the best of both extremes.